As some of you know, and we reported before, Katla Katla has been bothering giant Siamese barbs way too much. I actually ran into a peer of ours on YouTube who said that all of his Katla were the same. They hated all the tank mates. I think if the barbs were, the giant Siamese barbs were there, he would have taken objection to the peacock bass too. So as I said, he has to go. We're gonna take him out and we just freed the other 240 gallon where firewoods and peacock bass and Karaiba were. There's just a lone pleco left. So he's gonna go right in there. But for now alone. And then maybe we'll test some tank mates with him later, but for now he's gonna be there alone. better than I thought. I thought he was gonna try and break the tank. Okay, pretty good. It wasn't too bad. Be chilling there now. Heal up. He's all beaten up. All right, our cutler bully lives in this tank now. Temporarily, I have two dividers in there. I have the Atus, Atu catfish, the Walago, Atu or Walagonia, whatever they are right now. I think Walago. Anyhow, the bully is here and eventually, or actually soon I hope, I really want to put Katla and the giant Siamese carp out there by the uh, quarantine and hospital and uh, timeout tanks. So I set up this 120, I'm uh, sorry, 180, six by two by two for the cutler. And I need to set up the 280, which is six by two by three ball front for the two giant Siamese carp. Cause I feed them a lot and they produce a lot of waste, excrement, this is the 280. They produce a lot of excrement, so I, it's a lot of work to clean it up. In those tanks over there, I will not need, I will not need to clean them up because they're the last tanks which drain into the waste. So the waste just goes out. It will be much easier for me that way. But for now, the cutler is here. The giant Siamese took it a little hard when I took the cutler out. 
they were sulking for a while even though Katla was the offender. When I took it out, these guys decided to sulk for a week. As you can see, there's pellets in the water and they're not eating them still. Sometimes they eat it, sometimes they don't. I don't understand their behavior lately. It's mostly due to their nervousness and, and timidness. So this is our update on the removal of the bully. That was that would have killed giant Siamese carp if it could. Right? Talking about you. She keeps looking in the other direction towards the, that tank. She wants to get a piece of them still. He or she, I don't know, I don't know what I call it. I call her I call it a she. The only tank made right now is just a common pleco, my collaborator in cleaning. She was a bit banged up in the last, in the first portion of this video. Right now she, again, I'm calling her she, I don't know she, let her be she, okay. She healed up largely. 